Do you need a login screen? Probably not. That's that's going to be the whole like discussion here of this video because someone brought it up in the live stream I did yesterday and uh, I kind of want to talk about it. I, I'm one of those people that is kind of torn on login managers, display managers, login screens, whatever the f you want to call them. They're called multiple different things. Also, can we talk for a second about how display manager is kind of the dumbest name ever for a login screen? Why is it called a display manager? I don't, uh, I, does anyone know why? Anyway, I don't think people necessarily need them. And I know there's probably plenty of you out there who don't use them. Uh, if you're wondering, well, like I've always had a login screen with my, you know, picture in there. How do you log in without one? If you're not familiar on Linux, you can install it at a command prompt at a TTY. And so your login manager, it's essentially just a graphical overlay of what you would have at the command prompt, which is just login. And then you enter your username, press enter, and then a password field pops up and you enter your password and you log in. Logging in at the command prompt or the TTY is just fine. I, I am kind of into LY, which is a login screen manager, display manager, whatever, that it's it's still in the TTY, but it actually does like have a graphical, like not really graphical, but you know, an actual prompt window and stuff. And then you can have like C matrix falling in the terminal behind it. it, it it's a nicer version of logging in at the TTY. That's kind of how I like it. I, I, I am partial to the kind of, this is so lame and I hate to do this, but the hacker aesthetic of it, um, it just kind of like looks nice having white text on a black background. Um, it's fine. It's, you know, I don't, I, I'm just one of those people where the login manager has to be really nice and really performant for me to like really get on board with it. And when it comes to like login managers, GDM and light DM are pretty much like the best in my opinion, I know there's going to be some people out there like, well, I use SDDM. It works just fine. SDDM is a piece of crap. Okay. Like I get it. It may work for you and you may never have any issues, but SDDM is actually a, a it's not good. It's hands down the worst display manager out of all the ones that I've tried. It is extremely buggy. It is very likely to break on you. It is, doesn't play well with stuff for unknown reasons. So yeah, I, I've never really been one to use SDDM, but the GDM and light DM being the best a GDM like looks really nice, but I don't really want to use it. Like for some reason, I don't know. Like I just, I don't, I'm not very attracted to GDM. Like it, it, it's nice, but that's just one more thing that I got to make sure I've got installed, set up all that. And why? I mean, I only use one user on all of my computers. None of my family shares devices, um, except for like the one home media PC, like and even that's just a one account for the family. So I, I, I don't really have a reason to use it. I mean, on the home media PC, it just auto logs in anyway. Like it doesn't matter. There's nothing secure or like not, not there's nothing that needs to be, you know, protected on that. Like we all share it. And anyone who comes in the house is welcome to turn it on and watch something, you know, do whatever on it. It's fine. Light DM. That's a login manager with a whole different conversation. Cause I, I know there's going to be plenty of people out there that use light DM and love it. And it is a good login manager. Light DM is good. 
It's not bad. However, it also is very unreliable. It will just break. I've had that happen multiple times where it just breaks and it's a pain in the ass to get fixed or figure out why it's breaking. So to me, Light DM is probably the most customizable login manager you could get, probably the most fun to play around with. But also for something like your login screen, you probably want to make sure that bitch is rock solid and you can actually use it every single time you need to. And I don't trust Light DM enough to give it that job anymore just because it has let me down more than a handful of times. Um, and I, I guess that might be one reason why I just normally end up just not bothering with a login prompt or screen. I want, I, if I want something there, it's really hard to find something that never breaks and never doesn't work. And I feel like that's something that a login screen should be known for. Um, the GDM and again, there are other login managers that you might not ever have a problem with. And especially if you're using a distro that comes with a DE, um, like built around the login manager. Like, I mean, if you're using a GNOME distro and GDM, you're probably never going to have issues. If you're using a KDE distro with, uh, with SDDM, you're probably never going to have issues unless you have a slightly more odd configuration, then you're definitely going to have issues, but because it's SDDM, but we, we won't talk about that. Uh, you know, you can use a lot of these things, never have issues, but personally, I just don't find a big enough reason to use them other than it's pretty. And it's also a type of pretty that I'm only going to see for such a short amount of time. It doesn't even, eh, I don't know. To me, it's just one of those things. It's pretty, but it's not pretty enough and going to be where I'm going to see it enough to warrant the effort in setting one up, configuring one, or dealing with issues that might arise from one. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree, try to keep it civil. Like, look, we're talking about login and display managers here. If you're getting really upset and arguing with someone over a login manager, what the hell has the world come to? What are you doing, man? Okay. Keep it civil. Tell me what you think. If you disagree with me, please express yourself down in the comments, hit the like button on the video if you enjoyed it. And also, if you want to support me, all the links down in the description, you can find links to support me on Patreon. Uh, you can find my website, which is definitely still a work in progress. I have not gotten back to fixing the CSS. I've been busy. Sorry. So if you go check out my website, just know if anything is broken rendering wise, don't worry. <laughs> I know it's broken. I'm fixing it. Don't worry. So yeah, uh, all my links are down there. And also I am... I don't have my Patreon page that I've used in the past like video or two um, where I made a really nice Patreon page. Um, I, I lost it. I wasn't thinking. So I've got to remake it. So for this video, sorry, I won't have your names up on screen. All of you fantastic people who support me over on Patreon, but just know it'll be back in the next video. Don't worry about it. So thank you, Jonathan, Zach, TGB, Papa Smurf, and Matt from the Linux cast. Your support is very much appreciated and it does genuinely help out a ton. So does everyone liking and commenting on the videos and watching because, you know, YouTube sometimes likes to pay me ad revenue. So that's nice. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.